Hey guys, it's your girl Chris Marie and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it has been forever. I understand. Y'all know what's going on in the world. I got a pimple. That's what's going on. So yes, in this video, as you can see from the title down below, we are going to go into my skincare nighttime routine. So as always, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. You know what? Put hit that little bell on top guys too i mean you know i'm gonna get better at posting i swear i do want to throw in something really quickly i hope you guys are all staying safe and being healthy and with that being said let's get into the video all right so we know this is crazy so we're gonna go ahead and tie it up with a satin little gomita hmm. all right guys so i'm just my hair looking mm. all right guys so first things first we're gonna go ahead and wash our face now this is very important whether you have sensitive skin combination skin oily skin dry skin no skin this is how you do your thing okay so what i do is i use this spin brush literally got it at walmart for ten dollars okay ten dollars you know with this whole virus thing you might want to stay away from you know from Walmart and Target in place, so you don't need to get this. If you have one of these brushes, um, a microfiber stipple brush, and it's clean, you can literally clean your face with this. So quick little life hack, kids. Before I had this, I used this. And this is just a stipple brush. This is from e.l.f. And I would put the soap on, and this would be my cleaning brush for my face. So just a little hack to keep you guys out of Walmart so you can stay home. All right, and now for soap, we have two options. We have the Equate Beauty. This is pretty much the same thing as the Neutrogena Grapefruit that I've been using for years. The only con with this is it dries up my face a little much. So this is really good for the summer or if you have a lot of dirt or in my case, if you have sucky ass makeup wipes and you don't know what else to use, you try using baby wipes but it burns your face, you gotta use this, okay? Don't use the baby wipes. But to my discoveries, I found something that works perfect, especially for my dry skin, my eczema, you know what I'm saying? St. Ives, you're welcome. So this is a gentle smoothing oatmeal scrub and mask. So typically when I'm in the shower doing this, I will put this on my face as a mask throughout the whole shower and then at the end I'll go in and scrub with my hands or bring the brush in, rinse it off, come out and put lotion. Now when I have time like this to do a whole routine, this is how I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as my mask today and use this as my soap. I do have two more masks. I don't know where the other one's at. I do have another mask. I have my charcoal mask but I'm not gonna be using this today. I'm just gonna strictly keep with this because as you can see, I have a lot of stress break out. I haven't broke out like this in such a long time and it's stressing me out that I'm being stressed out because pimples are coming from stress. How do we fix it, guys? Drink lots of water, but I already do that. All right, so let's begin. Begin with the soap. I like to add it right on here and I do a generous amount and then I just it's almost like you're putting foundation on your face oh what the fuck was that oh my eye and I just really don't forget to get your chin a lot of people forget that and then they have breakouts because if you think about it, you're wiping your stuff down and you're forgetting about the chin. Alright, so now that we have a clean face to work with, I want to get rid of some of our blackheads. So I have three different options here today. I have the Dior No Strips. You guys know what these are. These retail for anywhere from four to five to eight dollars depending on where you go. These are pink lemonade scented. These actually smell really good. Sometimes I feel like these don't get as much as I need to. So then I have to use a little, something a little stronger. And I got this little bad boy at Walmart. And this, this is, I've had this for a year and it's lasted me pretty, 
long time. It's not expired. It's still good. And I actually think I'm going to use this today. And last but not least, once I apply one or the other, I sometimes have to go in with a little extra care. And that is where this kit comes in. My husband bought this for me on Amazon. Um, I can't leave the link because I don't know. I will try to look for it and then leave the link down below. If not, um, it is called Crystal Clear Solutions. So I should be able to find it. And let me tell you, this is the holiest holy grail of blackhead picking like when i tell you my life has changed ever since i got this kit and literally when he told me what do you want for christmas babe and i said i want blackhead kit and he's like what the fuck thank you babe because now my nose is not as bad as it was before and as you can see there's different variations and different tools um, this, this tool, no, sorry, this is the tool that I use. I love the angled one. It just gets right in there, especially in here that a lot of females tend to forget. I do have one there, so I am going to make sure I get it. I'm going to get that shit out. I would love to know what you guys are doing during this quarantine to keep you sane. I know there's a lot of people arguing on the internet, like, over politics stuff. Like, I didn't know we were all, like, senators and shit, guys. Well, I guess the floor is getting their blackheads removed, too. Is we should all be coming together during this time. But... We have those few that don't think so. So I'm just going to leave that there. I'm actually not wanting to talk about this subject because I know I have a few people that follow me um, that, you know, are very... I don't want to say opinionated, but I have a few people that I know personally and people that I don't know that... Um, We'll definitely start a conversation about this matter that I don't, I'm not getting in this. I'm just keeping quarantined, staying home. I'm not trying to get a cure sick. I'm going to make sure it's a thick layer. It's not thin because then it will not, girlfriend, it will not take them blackheads off, okay? You want them bitches out. Vacate the premises, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for like 25, 30 minutes, and then we're going to rip, rip, pull. Mm -hmm. Is it just my daughter that um, shits in her sleep, or <laughs> am I doing something wrong? Literally, guys. So I let her sleep in her playpen, right? And she falls asleep around like 9-ish, 10, usually 9. Yeah, 9. And I went to go grab her to bring her upstairs to her crib and I smelled pure shit. I'm like, well, what the fuck? I went to go change her diaper in her crib, you know, do my thing. I opened up and there was shit everywhere. Everywhere. That's not even the best part. She looks at me with the only freaking attitude, like, literally with the only attitude. It was almost like she was just saying, you know, why are you waking me up, mom? What the fuck? It's like, I care about your hygiene, missy. Hello, you got shit all up in there, you know? I gotta clean that up. So I went to a cleaner and the trick, yes, the trick almost rolled over. There would have been shit everywhere. Ooh. And let me tell you, this has already happened and there was shit all over my legs. So we're not repeating that again, you know what I'm saying? My question is, has anyone else kid done that before? Comment down below. Another thing, I just noticed my eyes are super red. No, I did not smoke no ganja before any of you potheads on here say that. I literally was rubbing my eyes too hard in the shower. And I got water in my eye. And you know, a girl can't get water in her eyes. Alright guys, it's been a while. It is dry, except that part. But it is pretty dry. So I'm going to go ahead and start ripping it off. Ooh. I'm 
you guys want to see that. That's nasty as fuck. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and wash this off with hot water off camera. And when I come back, we're going to have a fresh face and go on to our next step. Look at that. So we're looking to cut a little bit red because we did have to like rub that stuff off that I had left here because it was really thick and it was stuck. So make sure you have yourself a good, damp, clean washcloth. So the next step we're going to be doing is taking our hair vitamins because we forgot today. So now we're going to go ahead and apply our oatmeal mask. I look like Flashback Mary. <laughs> Hello, my name is James Charles. So now while that's sitting, we're going to go ahead and brush our teeth because we don't want to be a stink bitch. Now my favorite toothpaste ever is the Optic White. I use this and I also use this mouthwash. And if you don't know, now you know, you should definitely invest in a tongue scrubber because let me tell you, let me tell you guys, bad breath not only comes from stinky teeth, but it comes from stinky ass tongue. And sometimes we can't get it. And sometimes our toothbrushes have these little ridges there that sometimes that really, really sucks. And this bad boy only cost me $3 at Walmart. And it is a perfect, perfect thing to use when brushing your teeth and scrubbing your tongue. Like, I'm obsessed with this now because this changed my life. Not saying... Before any of you guys come for me, I'm not saying that I had stinky ass breath. I probably did. Who knows? The point is, this is definitely a buy. So now we're going to go ahead and wash this off. And I will be right back. Perfect. So now that your face is completely done, you want to go ahead and add your favorite moisturizer, oil, or anything you do to moisturize your face. It is perfectly healthy and does not break you out. Now, I did mention I have eczema, so I do use the Aveeno but Equate version. And all it is is an eczema soothing moisturizing cream for my dry areas, especially my neck. I know some videos you guys might see me going, scratching here, scratching there, it's my eczema. It, it, it just so bad, guys, especially my eyebrows. So I did find another lotion. Um, It's called St. Eyes Renewing Collagen and Elastin Moisturizer Conditions Skin for Youthful Glow. So this is what it is. It's a little on the thicker side. Smells bomb. And I literally just grab some of this, some of that, mix it up, and throw it on my face. And then you just want to drag this down your neck. I drag it behind the areas I know that I get really, really itchy. And this is pretty much it, guys. Tomorrow, I just have to refreshing up my hair spray it up do what i gotta do and do my errands oh my god now before i go i do want to mention that i have been using this new product line on my hair i've noticed a drastic difference i know my hair looks crazy right now but like yo there's like legit clumping going on and everything and i got recommended these products from a legit cosmetologist at TJ Maxx, which is freaking astonishing to me and so affordable. I've been using them for two and a half weeks just to see if I actually really like it. Um, so I am planning on making a video on this. I will not tell you what it is yet. You guys just kind of have to wait to see the video. But um, I also have a new whole new hair care routine. I know the last one. A couple people were like, yo, you use, you use bad products, but um, that's the way I used to do it. And I had longer hair, obviously I have shorter hair. So, you know, volume is an issue. You have to cut layers in, yada, 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 but that's a whole nother video. And as always, guys, use code James for 10% off. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe down below. Comment down, what are you doing during this quarantine? 
give this video a big thumbs up. You guys stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.